Okay, here's a question that was asked over email. It's from chapter 4, 4.1.35. And here is the problem. They ask us to use transformations of the graph of f of x equals 7 to the x to identify the graph of the function given below. And then they want us to use the graph to determine its domain, range, and asymptote. Okay. All right, so they're wanting us to graph g of x equals 7 to the negative x. Okay, so <clears throat> the first thing is you should probably watch the video that um, refers to transformations of functions. It gives the background information on what I'm actually going to be doing here. Okay, um, so the first thing is this basic graph is uh, an exponential graph, so it's going to have a basic shape looking something like that. Now that basic shape can actually be flipped around. And when they talk about transformations, that's what they're referring to. Transforming it means um, taking a look at the base function, which is 7 to the x, and, and recognizing how this negative there would affect it. Okay, So our key points from our base function would be 0, 0, excuse me, 0, 1, uh, 1a, and negative 1, 1 over a. Okay, and that's where, <clears throat> I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh, well. Okay, and that's where A is our base, and here A is 7. So we could plug those in, our key points would actually be 0, 1, 1, 7, and negative 1, 1 over 7. Okay, all right, now what I want to do is I want to, and excuse me, our horizontal asymptote here is Y equals 0. So horizontal asymptote um, for the basic graph <clears throat> is basically just the x-axis. Um, what I want to do is take a look at how this negative is going to affect things. Because the negative is multiplying the x here, what this effectively is going to do is it's going to take this graph right here and it's going to flip it over the y-axis. So it's going to take and be, um, it's going to go like this. Um, so effectively what that's doing to the ordered pair points is we would want to multiply the x's by a negative 1. That's what this right here means. Multiply x by negative 1. <clears throat> okay, so if I do that, each of these coordinates here, if I multiply that by negative 1, stays as a 0. Multiply that by negative 1, becomes negative 1, 7. And multiply that by negative 1, becomes positive 1, 1, 7. And the horizontal asymptote is not affected because um, we're not doing anything to it. It doesn't have an x-coordinate. It's just y equals 0. And so we're not moving things up and down. So it's just going to stay as y equals 0. Okay. All right. So what I would do now <clears throat> is just graph this. Um, what we're going to find is that basic graph right here. Here's 0, 1, negative 1, 2. You know, it's, it's, this is a sketch, but it's looking something like that. And then 1 and 1 7th would be like down here. And it's going to be come and, coming and doing something like that. We're still going to have a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0. Okay, so that's your basic shape. It looked like on the problem that you sent me, it was A. Um, all of the others don't look correct. So probably A on that one. All right, and then they did also ask us to identify domain and range. Um, and the domain always refers to, if you take a look at your graph, you're taking a look at your x values, and where does my graph have x values on it? And so what you can notice is that I can go all the way out to negative infinity and all the way out to positive infinity, and I'm going to have graph. Um, even though this looks like it's just going up sharply, it will continue to go out towards infinity in both directions, in the vertical direction and in the horizontal direction. So it will actually continue to go out towards negative infinity, even though it doesn't really look like it. This does look like it. It's going to go out towards positive infinity. Okay, So your domain here is actually all real numbers, negative infinity to positive infinity. All right, And your range, um, if you take a look at your range, you're thinking in this vertical direction here, you're thinking about the y values. Where do I have y, y values on my graph? You can see that you don't have any negatives down here. And when you come up, you're not ever going to have 0 either because your horizontal asymptote is y equals 0. 
So this line, this graph right here, is going to come and get infinitely close to this horizontal asymptote, but it's not going to cross it. Okay, so, so we can't have y equals 0 as part of our range, but we can have everything from 0 out towards positive infinity. So uh, what I would want to do to list that is go from 0 to infinity, um, but not include 0. So I put a parenthesis on it instead of a bracket. Uh, the parenthesis indicates that I'm not including zero, but I'm going basically from, you know, as close as I can get to zero out towards positive infinity. Okay, so that's that.